one right now on this Tuesday morning. We're giving you a live view outdoors from a CDOT camera at I-70. And this is just west of Denver. We're seeing a couple of flakes falling right here. We'll only see more moisture for the high country throughout the day today. So if you are traveling up toward the mountains, do be prepared. There could be some times of reduced visibility due to some heavy, wet snow and rain. We're on the lookout for some flooding concerns today, too. Now, for the lower elevations, we'll mostly be seeing some showers. There won't be the same kind of strong, severe storms that we encountered yesterday. And that's just because we'll have a lot of clouds helping to stabilize our atmosphere today. Okay, here's a live view outdoors. This from our Century Casino Neighborhood Weather Network camera in Cripple Creek, where it is gray, overcast. Within Teller County, we saw a heavy burst of snow yesterday. This is a look I posted to our Facebook page. Thanks so much to Carrie in Cripple Creek for sending this. Remember, you can always follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Seeing some light rain across portions of southern Colorado, so do be prepared for kind of a soppy and wet commute. This is a glance from our Underwater Connection Neighborhood Weather Network camera. If you're traveling up along the Palmer Divide into Denver, there is some reduced visibility there. There's reduced visibility for some of the far eastern plains. Just north and northeast of Denver, we're seeing some scattered showers. Along the I-25 corridor, any rain or drizzle is too light for Doppler to pick up on. Into noon, we still see some storms in the lower elevations, but we'll really hold off on seeing that activity until the middle of the afternoon. So here's a look at 4 p.m. That's when you see rain and snow ramp up in the foothills in the high country. So thunder and some lightning for the lower terrain will be more of the exception rather than the rule. We'll see more thunder, lightning, and some possible uh, thunder snow in the high country. Into the evening drive, there will be some wet roads, possibly reduced visibility where we do see some of those scattered showers. On top of dealing with rain for the lower elevations, the foothills and high country will be seeing more snow. As I mentioned, one to two inches possible throughout the day today within Woodland Park. Six inches to one inch or to one foot, I should say. Big clarification there, Top Pikes Peak. Just a trace up toward the Palmer Divide, nothing for the lower elevations. Now, this is just going to be one of those days where across the state, we've got multiple seasons in. One, in the span of just one day. So high temperatures set to reach the 40s. We will see some overcast skies and on and off showers, especially ramping up this afternoon. We'll keep you ahead of those storms. Temperatures the next few days start to boost. In fact, we'll be rebounding to the 70s as we go into this weekend. In Pueblo, 49 for today, upper 50s for tomorrow, 70 degrees on the dot on Thursday. Low to mid 80s Friday and Saturday. For Canyon City, today will be at 47 degrees. Upper 60s, we climb on Thursday. The storm starts to loosen its grip as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. We'll be drier by the end of the work week. For Teller County, 39 for today. Cool and cloudy. Bundle up as you step outdoors. Upper 40s for tomorrow in Teller County with the low 60s by Friday. Hey, take a look at the mid 60s by Saturday. A glance at your high temperatures neighborhood to neighborhood at 651. All right. Thanks, Abby. Yep. Residents in Manitou Springs are keeping an eye on the skies this morning.